mailbag again bunch of stuff here got no idea what most of the stuff is I know what's in these ones the rest of it no idea let's find out extra packages bonus mailbag So these are some switches. Two different types of that, yes. So I realised actually had a shortage of this type of switch. Shortage of the switch. Get it? It'll work. Standard single pole double throw type. It's just two long pins, PCB mount kind of thing. I needed a few of these, so I didn't have any. I'm using these in the project to do repairs, which I've done videos on, so you'll see those. And whilst I was getting those, I thought actually they may not be the best type to get. So this type here may actually be better for some projects because it's got the little mounting tabs on them which means you can bolt through or put a screw on them or something like that and then mount them using those tabs this would also do for that project I've been doing and in fact this would have been better for that project I was doing but I didn't have them so anyway maybe in the future I'll use these very cheap these are very lightweight which is not very strong I mean you can see how thin the metal is inside there maybe these aren't very robust or anything like that they're not high current um, you actually see the mechanism working in there, pretty cool. Same thing from this side. Yeah, so cheap little switches, these aren't very expensive, but they'll probably be perfectly fine for a lot of users. Soldering iron tip C210 soldering iron tip, it's a straight one. Now I've got a C210 sitting here somewhere. This is it. Got a 210, same tip as that. Interestingly, I'm pretty sure it isn't actually a tip I purchased because I actually wanted the curved tip, like a J tip. I'm pretty sure I meant to get the J tip because my J tip failed. Basically, what happened is I was using it, it's fine, it's working absolutely fine. But I had the fume extractor down here, the little hood, this thing. I had this here, I moved the soldering iron over, and I hit it with the soldering iron tip and it must have put some stress on it or something and if it just instantly stopped working as soon as I hit this I think maybe I've fractured it internally or something I don't know but um, it's a shame because it's working perfectly fine up until that point and I meant to get another J type this is not the right one <laughs> I'll still use it but yeah it wasn't what I intended to get hmm this is an eye tip oh well I've probably broken it now I'm suspicious there might be two packages in this one as well Yes, there is. There's two packages in this one too. There's three packages. Well, it's puzzling so far. Nine volt, two amp. Both the same. I think there might be. Yeah, same codes. very lightweight it weighs almost nothing I think the wire is heavier than the plug pack um, so it's just a little 9 volt 2 amp power supply I didn't have any 9 volt DC power supplies I don't think I've got a couple might need one for a project as is always I always get two and this goes along with that project 2.5 millimeter cables little mono cables red and black wires now the idea is that I'm actually going to put one of these on one of those little power supplies, those little plug packs. Now I've done a video showing a conversion of a Farmtech Polaris timer, sports timer thing before which I did a battery pack to. Now I've actually just recently done another one, I didn't bother recording a video on it because it would have been like a duplication of the very first video. Basically the same setup, exactly the same thing, so it wasn't really much point in doing another one. There was no power supply available with that one, at least I wasn't supplied one. So I thought well I'll get a 9 volt plug pack and I'll get some of these little flying leads and then I can just attach one of these to the plug pack and that's done. That's purely for charging that battery inside that farm tech device so it's so interesting what that conversion will involve when I'm basically getting a device which used to run off power installing a lithium battery into it and using it as a battery powered device instead of having a charger system with battery monitoring and that sort of stuff on it then check out my farm tech playlist it's, it'll be in there um, but that's what they're for is to do another one of those.
And this also goes with the farm tech project. I've actually been working on one which is sitting on my desk over here. I've been doing a video about this. This actually, I should probably tell you about it because this is exactly the same as one I've just converted. This was really badly damaged, really bad liquid damage. I've been recording a lot of video on it. It now works and I had to replace the little piezo sounder on it. Now I had some, the one I had wasn't quite the right size. So I want to get the thing over and see what I'm actually talking about. So this thing here, I had to do a lot of work on this to repair it. Now I had one of these little buzzers, which does fit and does work. It's a passive buzzer, not an active buzzer. I just lost one on the floor. Never going to see that one again. So I've now got some bigger ones which are the right size. The pin spacing should be the same as the PCB. This one's slightly different pin spacing. It worked, but it wasn't great. But yeah, this has been a massive project fixing this up. And it does work now, but um, it's still got more issues. This keypad membrane's knackered and that sort of stuff, so I'm waiting for some more parts to arrive so I can finish that project off. But I didn't have any of the right piezo buzzers. I've had to replace these a few times in the past, and I've always just sort of made do. I thought, nah, I'm going to get the right ones for it now, because I should really be putting the crit parts in rather than just bodging it. Padding. Ah, oh, okay, little relays. I've got to get them out, you can see them. These are apparently new old stock. Are they really? I don't know. They look like they're unused. Actually, I will get them out. I'll get one of these out. These are rare. At least they are now. There you go, if I roll. 648D051AK. These are used in Sencore equipment. So these little reed relays. So these are apparently new old stock. Hopefully they actually are. They're not like some kind of rebuilt thing. <laughs> but uh, it looks okay. Is that a crack through there? <laughs> Is that a crack? Just there. Interesting. Makes you wonder. Just inspecting this one as well now, so I can see anything on this one. That one there looks fine. I guess I just found one which has got an interesting mark on the casing. So these are new old stock and used in the Sencore equipment. And I've got a couple of Sencore devices, a LC77 and LC102, which is why I've got this box sitting here. And I've also got some other relays which I showed in a previous mailbag. Same thing, but these are a different version. They aren't exactly the same. So that's why I've got these, because now I've got a full set of relays for both of those devices, the LC77 and the LC102. Right, I've got a full set for both. So if I need to replace anything in those devices, I can replace every single one of them if I need to. That's why they're going in there, like that. So that's all those relays. There's still a couple of relays I don't have, not yet anyway. Let's see if I can get those yet. I nice, see a real knife for this rack. Yeah, excellent. So I saw about more relays. Here they are. Or well, some of them anyway. So these are some signal relays. These are also what is used in the sync cores. Or this is it's either exactly like one or it's an equivalent to it or something. These are high current, five amp, twenty eight volts or one hundred twenty volts, two hundred forty volts max. These have got five volt coils on them, so it's a five volt relay, and you can switch a high current. These are all the same. So same deal. Spare parts for the same cores in case I ever need them. Now the units I've got, I've actually opened these relays up and cleaned them, but you can only clean them so much. Like if you get contact erosion that kind of thing. Cleaning the money gets you so far, you can buy yourself some time, but eventually you're going to need to replace them. And I got these because I could. Now I think there's still one relay I don't have. Just the one. Starting to get towards the larger packages now. Let's see what's in here. Uh, nothing exciting. This is for in the motorhome. You may be familiar with this sort of stuff. It could be good for other situations as well. But it's basically like a non-slip matting. This is quite a large piece I got here. Try and find the end of it. Yeah, single layer like that. 
it's like a mesh you may be familiar with it anyway it's quite common and you just lay it down and you can put devices and things on it and it's a non-slip surface it's a bit grippy you know you put it down something it doesn't want to slide so you know this what this doesn't want to slide put it here or slide over the place put it here won't slide so that's why i've got this because there's a situation where i need to make things less movable in a motorhome when it's you know a vehicle which gets driven around i need to put some non-slip stuff in there because stop things sliding around when i'm going around corners like a maniac at least the going around corners like a maniac is what mrs death on thinks but you know yeah GST 25A 18P1J. Okay, power supplies, mean well power supplies. Mean well is a good brand. So, 18 volt, 1.38 amps. Now, I'm sitting here trying to figure out why I bought an 18 volt power supply. Even two of them. I obviously had a purpose in mind. Can I remember what it is now? 2.1mm by 5.5mm standard jack there. Uh, is that DC center positive, is it? Set a positive, there you go, down there. So, yeah. I just need to remember why I actually bought these things because I obviously bought them for a reason. Don't remember why. Aha, uh -huh, I remembered. <laughs> it's related to this. This thing has an 18 volt power supply. And one of them I've got is an original AC transformer based power supply which runs 110 volts. So I wanted to make a power adapter to run the same core off of 240 volts high quality power supply also way more current than it needs so this is rated at 1.3 amps I think it only uses well less than an amp anyway so it's not even anywhere near the stressing these things I don't think but it's a case of cutting this cable off and replacing it with the original one of the original power supply and converting them to be using these that's why I got these for the sync cores well I only actually needed one but you always need a spare don't you alright so open these up I'm going to use a real knife on this just because it's going to be a lot easier. So what we've got here, A1493 batteries and an A1405 battery. So these are for MacBooks. I don't know which ones they go in, I've forgotten. Yeah, that's a MacBook here. I think that's the older one, the 2012 version, I think we're rightly. I don't know, it's just a retina. That's a retina, something. Here you go. So I think that's a retina MacBook Pro, that one there. Yeah, so that's what that one's for. Um, I've been buying lots of batteries recently and, and restoring these MacBooks so I'm doing lots of videos on those well I'm doing a, a lot of video on those, I don't know lots of videos I've certainly recorded a lot of footage so watch out for those videos if you're interested in MacBook repair stuff anyway that's the batteries for that so that's that little haul sorted out if you're interested in supporting the channel there's a Patreon link it will show up at the end there Patreon really helps me to buy equipment and do things from our bags right so like the LC102 and the LC77 for example I was helped to buy those by the Patreon supporters and YouTube members. The supporters of the channel helped me to buy that equipment. Without that, I probably wouldn't have bought them. So things like that really do help. So if you do have a couple of dollars a month even, and just want to help support the channel and help me to buy more equipment, do more videos about equipment, I need more money to do that because equipment prices are getting a bit ridiculous. So I need more money. So if you want to help support the channel, help me to buy more equipment to do videos without fixing them, then please do support the channel and chuck a couple of dollars on. Use the Patreon link at the end. I appreciate all my existing members and existing supporters. Without them, a lot of things wouldn't be possible. The amount of money I can spend on doing mailbags, for example, is also supplemented by that because it's not money I'd be putting into something else. I can you buy things with mailbag, use my own money, instead of saving that money to buy equipment. So it all helps to create more content in every way. So that'll be else to watch down below there. Subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed. And there's a Patreon support link over there if you want to help become a supporter of the channel. And also down there you've got YouTube memberships, but Patreon's better. You get more information. Bye.